Overall, these trends are encouraging news for families, businesses, and our economy. When families spend less on health care, they feel more secure in their own budgets. When businesses spend less on health care, they can hire more workers. And over the past 45 months, as you know, businesses here in the United States have created more than 8 million new jobs. So something I just wanted to note, today, as you know, of course, from uh, information that was released earlier this morning is Jobs Day, and uh, figures on job creation in November uh, were announced. And I think it's worth noting, when you look at this graph, uh, that uh, not only obviously was the economy in free fall and job loss was uh, uh, terrible uh, at the end of 2008 and 2000, early 2009 when President Obama took office, uh, and not only has the trajectory since then been uh, consistently in the right direction, but if you note when we first began on a monthly basis positive job creation in the wake of the Great Recession, uh, it was right around when the Affordable Care Act passed. Now this is obviously not uh, a direct correlation, but we're moving in the right direction. The information I cited in the beginning about uh, the positive effects of the Affordable Care Act on reducing the growth in health care costs, uh, combined with the steady job creation we've seen now uh, for so many months, uh, reinforces a number of things uh, about the Affordable Care Act and about uh, the need that the President spoke of a few days ago to continue to focus on those trends, making them move in the right direction, and increasing job uh, growth even further. With that, I'll take your questions.